President Trump is popular in many parts of the northern San Joaquin Valley. When the president is trying to seek to cheat. So when calls for impeachment were swirling in Washington, voters in California's 10th congressional district wondered how the freshman congressman Josh Harder, a Democrat, would respond. Congressman, how did you vote on the impeachment of Donald Trump? I voted for impeachment. I think that when you have clear evidence of a president putting his own personal political interests ahead of our national security, we had to make sure that we, we showed that accountability. Harder's vote to impeach the president scored points with Democrats, but drew criticism from his Republican challengers, like Bob Elliott, a San Joaquin County supervisor. That whole effort. Uh, I think it was obviously a politically motivated effort uh, generated by people who um, wanted to change the results of the last election because they didn't like the way it turned out. Republican Marla Livingood runs a small business near Escalon and she offered this take on Harder's impeachment vote. That was a mistake because everybody's mind was made up on impeachment before. There are a number of people who don't like our president. There are a number of people that do. But what Congress did was they put the needs of their political party ahead of the needs of the valley. And if you ask Republican Ted Howes, a veterinarian and former football coach from Turlock, the impeachment vote was a giant waste of time. We have elections obviously coming up here in very short order. The American people should get to decide how they stand on the president or not. And I think the divisiveness that the whole process created in Washington just made sure that nothing was getting done for the American people. It's not just Republicans challenging Josh Harder, but also two Democrats, including Ryan Blevins, a robotics engineer. We need to implement uh, universal basic income. Under Blevins' plan, all Americans would receive $1,000 a month. How that. do we afford that? Uh, it's not really about how much it costs, but how much it will benefit us. Right now, we have uh, welfare programs that only go to some people, and a universal basic income would be uh, for everyone. Another Democratic challenger, Michael Barkley, was unable to interview with KCRA 3 on camera. He wants to repeal the Trump tax cut to help fund Medicare for all. Josh Harder sees himself as a bipartisan force in Congress, where he's a member of the Problem Solver Caucus. Half our community voted for Trump, half didn't. We have to find ways to work together. I've tried to live that by example. Every week I get breakfast, 10 Republicans, 10 Democrats, trying to find opportunities to identify that common ground. Republican Ted Howes says his top priority is this. Number one, securing our borders is important because uncontrolled borders hurts workers in the Central Valley. It depresses wages. It also allows human trafficking and drug trafficking to occur. It's a similar theme for Republican Bob Elliott. As a congressman, um, I will support securing our borders. I think that's very important. It's uh, not only a public safety issue, but a national security issue as well. And for Republican Marla Livingood, her top objective is this. On health care, we really need to reconnect the patient with the provider. We've added, allowed the government to get in and get their hands on everything. Democrat Michael Barkley wants a big California water plan to solve the state's water deficit, while Ryan Blevins says he wants to withdraw U.S. troops worldwide, including South Korea. So what we need to do is de-escalate so that uh, these other countries will also follow our lead.